sit back and enjoy this one from Altamaha as Ryan Millington turns us loose and the accelerated GFX.com 125 is underway. I just love watching these cars two by two, late model stock cars, Butter Bean Queen, I love saying oh, that no. name. Yeah, that was exciting early. Using up the right front fender, Chad McCombie, baby. Again, trying to get down to the bottom immediately was that a queen. He's able to do it off of turn four. Millington showing the way and leading his first laps in late model stock car competition in the Cars Tour since North Wilkesboro a year ago. One car out of shape, that's Dylan Harville, who's up at the top of the racetrack. We just mentioned he may have a problem as there are sparks flying from underneath that 33 car. I would say he's probably a little bit too low on air pressure right now, or he has a left front tire flat. It looks like his left front tire might be flat. Yeah, would, yes, looks like a left front tire is down on that car. It is, yeah, dragging pretty bad. And Xfinity, and oh, Bobby McCarty put the bumper to him. I love it. Kay Brown is not going to take that. I've watched that kid race and he will not take that some tempers will be playing one of those situations clearly bobby mccarty in the six faster than the car in front of him but it, it's a different thing to make the pass there's contact there's no oh, again and again into turn three but again making contact but just 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 enough to get him out of the way and that's exactly how you have to try to make these passes at ace if you can't build up that momentum off the corner brown is going to make it tight as boy he is nearly into the outside wall off of two you can also see the brake riders on the 23 starting to glow They're on that all right glowing. front and you're watching quapple his engine as he goes back to the gas is starting to smoke a little bit i don't know if that's planned by that group but bobby mccarty has made the pass. And McCombie has experience in all three of NASCAR's national series as, oh, trouble, turn one. That is Andrew Grady. Engine issues, it would appear, for the number one out of Youngsville, North Carolina. Into the Death Wish Coffee restart zone. We'll fire him off with still 102 laps to go early on in this one. But again, Butterbean hanging tough on the outside, but he'll try to get Whoa. down in front of McCombie. Dylan Bassett. That was big. That was a big, big saving moment. Big check up there. Heavy damage for Connor Hall, your championship points leader. Move on his part as he was going to get squeezed three wide. He recognized it. Lifted out of the oh, gas. Oh, and one. more trouble. Dylan Harville once again. Sparks flying underneath that race car. And that will bring out the shitty cooler's caution for the second time. We'll get one more shot of it here on the front straightaway. And already didn't see any contact there, but... Something's majorly happening already. Boy, what a great shot. Millington gets back into fourth gear and will lead the field into turn one, 94 laps to go. And again, you mentioned threat of weather in the area. How the, hard do they push it? Ooh, they push it hard, but you see the choose cone was different this time again. In the pro late models, I'm telling you, that made a difference. And look, Chad McCombie is going to lose the second spot because of where he chose that. Butterbean done a great job of still pinching him down. They are still racing. Butterbean's car is not quite as good as Chad's, but man, this is a great race. McCombie not giving up, coming off of four, has the position, trying to outrun Brendan Queen right now as they go back into one, still underneath side-by-side -side racing. A slight advantage for the 03, but not enough to get past Brandon, to get past Chad McCombie as they head down into two. Carson Coapel still pursuing this field right here. I was about to say, look who is right behind him, has made up a couple of spots and worked that choose to perfection for that number 18. Carson Quapple looking to go back to back to back at East Speedway in the Cars Tour and in a great position to do it as he's almost to the inside of Butterbean. Right here in front straight away, Connor <laughs> Hall turned around backwards. In a precarious spot there, just past the start finish line. And just in the way of our vantage point, as you can see, Brandon Willard waving the shitty cooler's caution with 76 laps to go. And your championship points leader having more issues here in the Z-Max Cars Tour. Through the Death Wish Coffee restart zone, Millington brings us up to speed once again. 76 laps to go. Butterbean hanging tough on the outside, and he may have a little bit of a nose on Ryan Millington going into three. I said he wasn't running well, and look, he's going to take the lead, so maybe Lee Pulliam can send me a check because I did talk about him. So, hey, hopefully, man, what a race. You normally don't see him side by side like this, this oh, long. Oh, man, these restarts are so important because you see the beating and banging. This may be the only chance for Queen to get the lead. Up the racetrack, and oh, probably a little bit too high that time, but he carries the momentum. They'll stay side by side. They're also door-to-door -door for that third position between McCombie and Quapple. Millington clear this time. 
You also saw Cade Brown almost tried to make it three wide on the 16 and the eight after that restart. This is the battle for third. Quapple looking for a way around Chad McCombie. Quapple doing Quapple things, right? Like he's always the guy that is just coming through the field. He did that at Dover last week in the Xfinity race. I think he started like 26, finished second. He's doing it again tonight, but it is something that I'm probably gonna need after this race, and that's that high rock vodka after watching all this. <laughs> that is what has happened. Something has hit the left front fender of Milliken's car. I'll guarantee it's pushing. Good yeah. catch right there. This is big. I was talking about arrow in the air and all of that. This is big. Butterbean Queen will maybe, maybe get by him. I don't want to jinx anybody because I'm good at doing that here on the on flow. If the spotters are seeing that, are they relaying that to Brendan Queen right that, now? That, well, well I not, bet that's hard to see. I yeah. mean, you you picked it out because we have great coverage here. Yeah. I'll guarantee you that's super hard to see. They normally have a yellow stripe around the bottom. They obviously hit something on the racetrack for it to be that beat in on the bottom. And if they can tell him, caution's out. Chitty Cooler's caution will be displayed. This is a competition caution and the final one we'll have of the night. Millington, Queen, Quapple, and how about Mini Tyrell up on the outside? Will the 15 car turn when it gets down to the corner? I'm telling you, the eight car is going to have the spot right here. He's going to make it three wide if he can stay close enough. Will that 15 car turn with the damage on the front? It will not. Look at it. Move up the racetrack. Up. Oh, my goodness. I knew this was going to happen. Ken Butterbean beat him. Again, they almost hit off a two a time earlier. Millington up the racetrack. The eight car is in the prime wall. spot right here. Quapple thought of making it three wide, but doesn't for now. 30 laps to go. They will look three wide on the front straightaway at Ace. Quapple down to the bottom. He thinks better of it. Millington still holding on. That 15 car is good. With that much damage, Allen, it's still holding on to the lead. Carson Quapple not going anywhere. Trying to come off four, get the better angle oh, as he turns deep <laughs> and nearly collides with, with, with the queen. As they battle, we'll see if Millington can get out a little bit ahead of this as the two in second and third place battle. But Quapple, end of the race, look who shows up. The driver of that A car now solidly in second position. He's going after the lead. He's got to slow it down to let Butterbean get to him, and it is no way, it is no way. Quapple is too good with the damage that the 15 car has. He is now sunk. He's got the position heading down into turn three. We saw this is where the move started one lap ago. Now he's solidly in the lead. Cheers from the crowd as he takes the lead. A new leader for the first time tonight. You would think Dale Jr. was in that car by all the people standing up. <laughs> Caution. Trouble turn four. It is Katie Hettinger. And perhaps that couldn't come at a better time for Millington. Into the Death Wish Coffee start zone. And we are back underway with 24 laps to go. Millington able to get a great launch, but Quapple carries that speed through the corner. Millington clear. Quapple quickly gets back down, and he's just able to get in front of Butterbean. So not the there perfect restart, but he's able to get under Millington in three and four. What a drive that car has. That car, that 15 car, would not hold the bottom with the damage. The damage is what has cost... Ryan, this race, I do believe, but he is still hanging tight on the outside. Butterbean is right there, getting ready to put some pressure on the eight car. What a move. Carson Quapple officially to the lead now, and it's also the three of, uh, the 03 of Queen. Now going after Ryan Millington. He lost the lead, now he's looking to lose second position, but Carson Quapple freshly in the lead. The clap, cheers go by once again as he starts to pull away from the field. Second lap in a row, a lot of contact coming up for between the 03 and Millington as they go into turn one. More contact, Chad McCombie now putting pressure on the 03. It's gonna get physical once again here in turn four. Man, oh. Butterbean used him up right there. And Ooh. Butterbean has hit the wall with the right side of his car. If you look at the right rear, it has a lot of concrete dust in it. So I don't know if that has affected Butterbean's car, but I'm telling you, the 15 car, that is so sad. Oh, Butterbean up the Whoa. hill. He had an issue as he got back to the gas. It's gonna allow Millington to try and challenge for that second spot again. Meanwhile, Carson Quapple is loving what he sees in his rear view mirror as he continues to drive away. With one to go, Junior Motorsports and Quapple.
Lead lap, away. Last From lap to settle it here at the famous four tenths mile. Has a couple of car length, car lengths over. Brendan Queen as Quapple will come into three and four for the final time. It's going to be three of a kind here at Ace. Quapple wins his third straight cars tour race at Ace Speedway.